all. Welcome to Kelly Plans It All. I'm Kelly and I'm here this week to do a plan with me featuring a kit from an actor plans. So um, I'm still using, of course, my my weekly kit life Lux planner. I did go ahead and put down washi strips and do some other preparations on this page. Like I did a white out over the um, hourly time blocks in this bottom half. And then some of the other wording that come with the planner over here on this side. I went ahead and did the white out there. I have my pre-planned sheet ready to go to help guide me in this process. But here's what I'm using. So I've been using these Habit Tracker full stickers from Kit Life that fit perfectly over here. So I'm going to be placing that over there in a little bit. The kit I'm using, like I said, is from an actor plans and it is a six the musical kit starring Mabel the cat. Uh, if you are not a Broadway person and you are not aware, the week that I am doing here is the week of the first previews of six on Broadway. Previews start on the 13th. So this is kind of my celebration to that. They are actual official opening night is while I'm on vacation in March. And so I'm going to have a vacation-y related theme that week. So I wanted to use this kit to celebrate them in some way. And so since I'm going to miss the official opening night, I figured first preview works just as well. So I have um, additionally to the kit, this little sheet of Mabel's dressed as all of the six queens. If you are not familiar with this musical, it started in the UK and this is the um, the Broadway premiere. It, it started um, in the US last summer in Chicago and kind of did a couple of cities of tour between the summer and the fall and now it's opening on Broadway. It is a musical that is a one act kind of stage, like a pop concert. And it is about the six wives of Henry VIII. And so each one has a very distinct costume and story that you finally hear told from a female perspective and not from just the fact that they are some terrible man's wife um, and what he did to them to get rid of them. So we are um, getting to see these women in a different light. Um, they are not cats on the stage. That's just Melissa's style as she um, pays tribute to different Broadway shows. She imagines her cat Mabel as the characters in the show. So this is Mabel as all of the queens. There is another little sheet that you can get from her that is um, different quotes and then the different crowns. Um, so there's some quotes from each of the six queens from their songs. The UK studio cast recording is available on like Spotify and stuff. I am pretty excited to get a Broadway company a Broadway original cast recording. Um, I hope that they're planning on doing that because that's the company I saw in Chicago last summer and it's the company I have tickets for in July on Broadway. So uh, I really want to hear them in my ears all the time. But the, the Broadway or the UK studio cast recording is available. That's how I first heard it. So go get you that. It's short. It's like um, 80 minutes the show runs about 80 minutes, but the cast recording shorter because there's some speech between the songs. But yeah, go go do that. Then the kit is a two-page kit. So besides this washi strip, which I already took off, it's got these little tags with some of the characters, checklist strips, some event boxes, some little washi strips. Um, and then full boxes of each of the queens uh, queen combo box and then the House of Holbein uh, design full box and you're like what does that even mean you gotta listen to the show and really to get this visual of what this looks like in the show you have to see it so you, you just have to see it and then there's a uh, half box with each of the crown designs on it so um, really really cute and a couple of House of Holbein decor pieces there yeah, so that's what we're using this week. And additionally, I do have a countdown to our vacation in Puerto Rico that I've got to put on this week um, for each day because we're within 30 days now. So we got to get those countdowns on. And then um, some other pieces I pulled because I knew I would need them this week. Some stuff from an actor plans, some stuff from the Dainty Planner. Always need a Hamilcast episode because I make those. 
Um, I needed a little field trip sticker from Small Town Grace and then a couple of birthdays from the uh, Design Pandemonium because I've got some family birthdays and then of course I had to mark the opening of six so I made a little playbill put together from pieces from an actor plant. I'm actually now that I'm thinking about it I, I didn't grab a couple more things that I'm going to grab um, before I get started here but um, that's pretty much it. That's what I'm using this week and I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be super cute. I'm I normally do very Valentine's things this week and you know I've been pretty planning decorative planning for a couple of years now and you know it starts to all look the same every year it's just hearts and pink and red and um which I normally love because my birthday is the week before this it's the seventh so usually like the Valentine's thing feels like it's incorporated with my birthday and it feels like it's a part of my birthday celebration but like last week I was very pink I did like pink and navy and green so there's a lot of like that kind of stuff I didn't it would be very repetitive to me to do like super valentine-y things this week so this is what we're working with let's get started so I gotta go through my stickers and then put down my habit tracker from kit life it is um the backing is in sections so you can kind of just roll it down and help it lay straighter than trying to like peel the whole backing off and lay it down I found that works better I love these little full box designs. I'm gonna put all of my six queens right here at the end of my habit tracker. And then I gotta put down all of my countdowns to our spring break trip from KPL plans. We're down to counting down by days. So there's one for every day. And I typically um, either put them at the top by the dates or at the bottom on the washi, uh, which I think I like better because it keeps the top from looking super cluttered. But I've definitely done that method before. So I'm putting my little queens down here is our first kitty. And then uh, I love that each, each queen has their own full box. So I put the first three queens down. So if you've seen six, there's like each queen gets their own song, like the first three. And then there's a song between. Um, but I decided to keep going and I kind of kind of messed up on Anne of Cleves and had to replace that one um, but so there's this song called House of Holbein that goes between kind of in the middle of the songs but um, again I realized I didn't want to put that there move move Kathy Parr over to the end here because I want the House of Holbein full sticker to go there not where it actually goes on the recording or in the show but because I always put my laundry line and my planner sticker down there on Saturday night. So got a little Cupid laundry line, a little planner for planner time. There's lots of birthdays this week. So I've thrown down some design pandemonium, a little cupcake flag stickers so that I can get those birthdays written in. I've got a field trip. Well, I don't. My son had field trip this week. So we're going to put that down there and then kind of just some other little bits it is the first preview of six on broadway on thursday so i've got a little playbill made up for that i forgot and so i'm i had to take a little pause and go look through my libby and co binder to grab a weekend banner in this royal purple to put down you know i think i try to prepare for these videos and then i never quite get out everything i need so now i'm putting down just our normal things different um, rehearsals for Aiden and um, other you know, after school activities he doesn't have school on Friday but I have work um, we've got a scout event on Saturday there's kind of a little bit of everything going on here I have dance those half boxes go quick I'm a half box fiend I really like could probably use twice as many half boxes in any kit than comes with it but then I start making event stickers work. Um, I had to dig into my binder here and grab a Lexi Kylie no school sticker, which is actually the last one I have. So uh, I guess if we have any other days off school this year, I'm going to have to hand write it in or I'm going to have to order some more stickers. Um, I decided to put in the matching quotes, um, even though the quotes are included on the full box stickers, just to uh, kind of give some continuity if there's some open space, I did use the kind of the same Queen's quote 
up in the top. So then I got to put down my little checklist bars. I never have as many checklist items as are actually on these. Um, but, you know, sometimes things pop up. Or, you know, if it doesn't fit and I don't have that many items, I trim it. There's no rules, y'all. You don't have to use a kit exactly as it comes. Do not be afraid to use scissors and make it what you want. So that's exactly what I did here. Made it how I wanted it. And um, so now we're, we're getting to the point where we're getting to be almost done. Just filling in with little decorative things. So like I said, the quotes, I decided there's still a little bit more open space than I like. So why not throw down some crowns? Got to have a crown for all of the queens in six. I also found another little Catherine Howard sticker there to fill in that spot. And then some more crowns to go down. And we're looking good. And then, you know, I just kind of tried to see what else we need here. Um, I do have these little page flag guys, so I put those up there. But yeah, I mean, like, they're super cute. There's not one for every queen in this kit, just for three. So I kind of spread them around the page. Um, just kind of looking at what else I could use. Some little, there's a couple little decor items. Um, but that's pretty much it. Throw in a couple more queen kitties. And we got it. It's good. Okay, so that came together pretty quickly. I didn't have to do um, too much. Uh, which I think sometimes is the beauty of using a kit. Even if you're not using it in a traditional way, it does help you piece it together pretty quickly. So, um, as you saw, I did have to grab a couple of binders and get a couple of extra stickers that I forgot about, like this No School sticker from Lexi Kylie. Uh, and then I had also needed a weekend banner, so I grabbed that out of my Libby & Co. binder. Um, but other than that, I had it pretty much ready to go. So, now I'm going to take a quick break do the writing and I'll be right back and we're back and we've got writing now so here's kind of how the week is going to play out for the most part I do have some like where I didn't use all of the checklists in my week I mean in general for most days if I tried to have this many things to do on top of a full-time job like something's just not getting done so I don't usually plan for seven things to do a day um, other than things that are part of my daily routine, and I don't usually put those on a checklist. Um, those are things that kind of go on my habit tracker or are just things that get done. Like, did Aiden do his homework? Did I, uh, you know, make sure he took his script for rehearsal in and out of his bag or his music folder in and out of his, like those kind of things I don't put on here. I do put them in my daily planner because that's like, where the habits and routines really get tracked um, more strongly than in my weekly. The weekly is just kind of an overview. So I've got all the pretty things down and this week is uh, pretty detailed as far as what's going on. Um, so Monday, got my new episode of the Hamilcast coming. Then drama club rehearsal for Aiden after school. I don't know if this video is gonna go up this Monday the 10th or if it's not going to be until the next Monday to be honest um it's going to depend on how um how the rest of this week goes and if I get it edited in time it's it's one of those weeks where I really feel like there's just way too much going on it's allegedly counselor appreciation week and my birthday week but um we're kind of lacking on the appreciation um, and so work is a lot this week and just trying to stay afloat. So for my own well-being, I may not have this video edited. So question mark, because it may not go up until the next week. We'll just, we'll see. But if, if it is going to go up, I need to make sure that I do the behind the scenes things to get it up on Monday morning, like, like normal. I always balance my checkbook, um, on Monday, see what cleared after the weekend, um, I've got a blog post that I've got to do for the Kit Life blog that I need to send on Monday. I'm going to work on that this week. Um, and then just, you know, some other things that I've got going on. Um, my twin stepbrothers, Ricky and Robert, their birthday is Tuesday, so they're on here. Um, and then I kind of continued whatever queen was down here. If I had room, I used their quote or their kitty um, up on the top. So I have Anne Boleyn here, 
with her song sorry not sorry is kind of the the takeaway from that song so the quote is there as well um but there's really other than their birthday not anything significant going on on tuesday so i just kind of used some decor there for wednesday my son has his music rehearsal and then um i've got my dance class uh every wednesday night and then you know down the checklist of things to do thursday is my other stepbrother jared's birthday so we've got the twins on the 11th and Jared's the oldest on the 13th. I'm back on the 7th. And my only biological sibling, my sister, was back at the end of January. So, like, all of our birthdays are within, like, a 10-day span. So, that was fun growing up. Um, Thursday, the entire 4th grade is taking a field trip to Austin, which is about 3 hours away on a charter bus. And I'm not going they did like a lottery for chaperones and I didn't get a spot. And so I'm struggling with letting my nine-year-old go on a charter bus away without me for three hours and come back alive and in one piece. I'm struggling with that. I'm, I'm like, have a lot of anxiety about it leading up to it actually happening. So um, y'all just send 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 vibes this week that I will survive the 13th and pick up my child at like 8 p.m. and and he's you know mostly unscathed um then like I said six is first Broadway preview is Thursday so I'm going to kind of use that to make me feel better about that day and then things to do that day as well um and then this is Anne of Cleves and I love her she might be my favorite because she is not taking no crap off of Henry. Not a single bit. I love her. Um, then on Valentine's Day, kind of appropriately, we have Catherine Howard, who is in pink. Uh, so I'm going to let her. Um, and she's very um, romantically inclined, I guess you could say. Um, in Sometimes in uh, ways that are not necessarily her fault. Um, but you got to see the show. So, Friday is actually, for the students, is a no school day. Um, it's a professional development day for us school employees. So, I'll still go to work, but Aiden can recover from being out late on the field trip. Um, and then, Aiden and Jonathan actually have a cake to make. I know that sounds strange. Why are the men making a cake? Um, because it's 2020 and anyone who wants to make a cake can make a dang cake first of all. But second of all, it's part of our scout event on Saturday, which is our, the annual blue and gold banquet. And there is a dad and lad baking competition and they have to make like a scout themed cake. So they're working on that Friday and Saturday. I'm not allowed to help like that disqualifies you from the competition if a woman helps. So like women are like inherently better bakers and there's no such thing as male pastry chef. Like some of these dudes are fantastic. Like I can tell you already, Jonathan and Aiden are never going to win because they're some for real excellent bakers in our pack. Either that or they're cheating and they're, they have a woman helping them that, but I don't think that that's true. I think they have skills. And um, so we're just never going to win, but it's fun. They like to make the cake. So they're making the cake. And then I've got my uh, little laundry line from the Dainty Planner that's Valentine's themed. So it's like all the little Cupid pieces for laundry that I always do Saturday night. And then I have my little Hamiltonian image that I had made from Creative Keo. And I turned them into stickers. And so I'm using that to remind me, like I have to remember, to plan on Saturday night. And then Sunday, this box is blank right now because I'm not sure what items I'm going to be cooking for the next week. But that's where I will list kind of my meal prep, like what things am I doing? Because usually I cook two or three dinners on Sunday for the week so that I can come home and just heat it up or um, come home and just, you know, do whatever the next step to it needs to be so that I don't have to cook something from scratch every night. And then usually Wednesday is when I'm like, maybe I'm putting something in the crock pot for Thursday or, um, you know, I'm prepping the additional things for the week. So that's kind of how we run it around here. Then I've got a list of to-dos to take care of on Sunday. And that's it. I've got my little um, stickers from KPL Plans down here. Counting down to our Puerto Rico trip now. 
Um, got my habits filled in. That's it. That's my week. I, it's, um, I'm really excited about six going to Broadway. Like I just can not stop talking about how much I love six. I've been talking about it since I saw it in June in Chicago. Uh, if you watch the, uh, favorite things video I did back from last summer, uh, you get to see me cry about how much I love Six. I was talking about it so passionately. So um, if you have not made plans to see the show or have not listened to the cast recording, well, what's wrong with you? Get on it. It's so good. Um, if you're not a traditional music musical fan, that's perfect. If you like a pop concert, if you like um, Nicki Minaj or... Ariana Grande or the Spice Girls or any kind of like popular female empowered singer like you will love this show even if it's just the music and you never go see it please go see it if you can though uh, it's coming back to Chicago in this uh, this summer um, they are they have some cast performing on two different Norwegian cruise line ships and I cannot remember which two I think they are both ships that sail out of New York, though I might be wrong about that. I remember looking it up because I wanted to know, but I can't remember. Uh, they have a touring cast in the UK as well as a stationary London cast. And um, I anticipate that after this Broadway run has a good go, there will be a tour at some point in the future. I think it will tour very well. So... Um, listen to it, fall in love with it, and make plans to see it at some point in the future. It's incredible. I I just cannot stop gushing about it. But it also makes a great planner spread. If you need some stickers for six or for all of your Broadway needs, please check out An Actor Plans. Uh, she's on her own website and not on Etsy anymore. So an actorplans.com. And you can use my discount code Kelly15. That's K-E-L-L-I 15. Um, for 15% off and you know disclaimer spoiler alert whatever uh, I do receive not compensation but I do get free products or uh, discount codes from Melissa for uh, sharing my code uh, but that's not even the whole thing of it like I was pimping her stuff out for free before she had a PR team because I love her stickers and I love her as a person and I love Mabel and I will um, I told her she'll have to kick me off her PR team because I'm never leaving uh, I just I love her stuff and it's it's awesome so if you need it it's there save yourself some money with my code um, it's good times but again thank you so much for being here uh, and watching and for those of you who've been subscribing for a long time, I appreciate it so much. If you haven't done that yet, please do. It helps other people find my videos when you like and subscribe. Plus, what I really want to do, really, really want to do, is have a custom URL on YouTube, which you can't do until I hit, like, so many subscribers. And I'm not too far from it, so if you haven't hit that button yet, do it, please. It means so much to me because uh, having to type in, like, a URL this long that's a bunch of random letters and numbers is really annoying and I'd like to get it down to like youtube.com slash Kelly plans at all would be awesome um, is what I'm hoping for when we get that sorted out so again thank you so much for being here and thank you for helping to spread the word about my intersection of the internet which is planners and Broadway so I'll talk to you guys next time I don't know what we're going to talk about but it's going to be some more of this kind of stuff. Talk to you soon. Bye.